Hey guys, so in this episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys what my life is like here in Japan as a content creator, specifically as a car YouTuber. So pretty much I'm always working on something on my car. In this episode, we're gonna be installing a radiator. Then we're gonna be going to one of my favorite shops, ASM, and then we're gonna go take some pictures at Daikoku Futo. After, we're gonna come back here and edit the videos, and that's just gonna give you a quick peek into what my life is like here in Japan. All right, let's jump right into the video. Hey, I'm Albo. I came to Japan as an English teacher, then moved near Tokyo to pursue my passions. I became a filmmaker because I love cars, Japanese culture, and a good story. I'm lucky enough to live the JDM dream, and so my videos are about my car life in Japan, where I go to car meets and visit shops, do track days and toge runs, build and review cars, and shoot vlogs, short films, and documentaries about Japan's car culture and history. Join me and my friends on our adventures and find out what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. So hop in, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしました。Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be installing a new radiator. So you can see here, coolant has been spraying all over. There's a crack. Let's、uh, replace this for a brand new one, an aluminum one from Koyo Radiator. Okay, so while this is draining, we're gonna go have lunch. When it's done, we just have to remove the radiator and pop in the new one. Man, it is so clutch to have two cars. I don't know how I would be able to survive with just the S2000. Yeah, I probably could, but it's a million times better when you have a second car. I think we're feeling for some pasta today, so let's see what Kana chan says. This looks super good. It's like pasta inside this little baked thing with cheese on top and vegetables at the bottom. Kind of curry, yours looks good too. Yep. Go. Yep. Go for it. So there is, there is the bottom. Yep. Like a veggies. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, it's thick. I know. Look at that. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, I'm just gonna eat like this. Ah.、Uh... Mm. Okay, guys, the new radiator has finally arrived, so we're gonna take off the old one, take off the fans, and install them onto the new radiator. Hopefully, we'll get this all done in the next few hours. So, let's do our best and let's see how it goes. All right, so we finally got all the stuff attached to the radiator off. It was an especially big pain in the ass to get the bottom radiator hose, but it should be okay now. Oh, look at that. This thing has had a hard life. Thank you, old radiator. All right, let's open up this box. Interestingly, here in Japan, they are more subtle than the ones you have in the States because it actually doesn't say Koyo Rad. On the front here. So, what we need to do is we're gonna need to switch the fans from the OEM one to this one. So, yesterday we had to take a break because it started raining. In today's video, we are gonna be selling the radiator and then we're gonna be flushing the coolant. I got some Chemitech PG55RC, and this is the stuff that S2000 owners here in Japan often use. This is like really, really good coolant. And then we're gonna head over to ASM. Let's go ahead and remove. The sensor and put it into the new one. And there she is. That's an absolute beauty. Look at that. Beautiful. Done. So the radiator is finally installed. It looks pretty cool, especially with the little details across the whole engine bay. I've heat wrapped the intake box. This is gonna be good for the life of the car. Now to do coolant. Okay, like I said, this is the cool. Oops, nope, this is not coolant. This is Monster Energy Drink. We got the good stuff. I didn't cheap out and get just like no name brand coolant. I went with the really good stuff because we drive this car pretty hard. We wanna make sure that when we take it to the track, it's gonna stay cool. Over here in the back, there's like these anime examples over here. Start the car. Let's do this. So, 
this isn't that hard actually. It's just a little bit, a lot of steps, uh, but it's really satisfying to do. Oh, here we go, it's gonna get hot. All right. Okay, it looks like there's no more bubbles, so I think it might be okay now. While we wait for the coolant to cool down, we're gonna reinstall my deck gauges, which have been under repair for the past month or so. This LED had burned out, so now it should be okay. A super expensive center console. Yeah, this was way too much money. But at the end of it, I basically have the exact S2000 I want. AP1 with that 9000 RPM engine and all the little AP2 things that make it a little bit of a nicer car. Easy peasy. That was extremely satisfying to get done. And this looks just perfect. I love the way this aluminum radiator looks. I mean, for regular people, they're not gonna know the difference, but for me, it's just awesome. All right guys, so we are finished with the radiator change and now we're gonna go to ASM to pick up my other bumper. Marco's gonna come with me in the Forester. So we're gonna go to ASM and then we're gonna go to Daiko Futo and do a photo shoot. So it's gonna be super cool because it's the first time I've had both cars uh, at that cook food at the same time. ASM. So let's see if Kanayama-san is inside. Yeah. Dude, oh my god. Yeah, this, this is exactly the setup that I want with the ASM rear diffuser. Oh my god, this whole thing. Dude, check this out. Ultimate ASM build. This is literally the car that convinced me to get the ASM bumper. Literally this car, and it has the diffuser, the $3,000 diffuser. Yeah. And the $3,000 exhaust. This tow hook is 500 bucks. Oh my god, this is wild though. Yep, full ASM build. I mean, if I went all out, this is what my my car would look like. But right now it looks like this. The one I was checking out last time as well. This has a HK supercharger. And look how look how wide the wheels are at the back. 295, dude. 295 and check this out this is the ooh, this is a really nice spec over here too it has the 20th edition bumper and he has these really really nice te 37 that fit the ap racing brakes 235 in the front what size wheels are these i gotta know i gotta know look at that perfect beautiful beautiful spec what size wheels in the back 255. Uh, type S seats, dude. Yeah, Type S. This is Type S. Yeah, over here, Type S. Oh, damn, that is nice. Stock, too. Yep. Except for the paint. Oh, man. Dude, that thing is sick. S2000 heaven. All right, should we go inside? Yeah, buddy. All right. Heaven. Yeah, dude. Yeah, buddy. ASM, we're here. Dope. 
It's way more than dope. It's not even in the, uh, the dope part. <laughs> it's so far beyond dope, right? All right. Hi. Hello. Is that your bumper? Oh, it's my bumper. Oh, the top. Oh my God, it's huge. Okay. All right. All right, so let's put this bumper in the uh, S2000. Or sorry, not S2000. S2000? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to take your roof off? Yep. And... All good. That's the, uh, that's the beauty of having an SUV. You know? Yes, so convenient. Okay, we're good now. Like my little passenger in there? Yeah, buddy. Oh, little penguin. It's my, my little buddy. My little travel buddy. How you doing there, buddy? I'm good. Oh, shit. Looks like people are waiting. Looks like it's packed. Only in Japan. Would women just be walking around in traditional wear, just like that? Only in Japan. I, I should, well, not lots of countries actually, but it's just cool to see it in Japan like that. <laughs> cool. All right, so we're gonna get burgers. This might be a good time to tell you guys about the next merch drop, which is gonna be the burger T-shirt. The burger T-shirt. It's coming, dude. Dude, what, what, do you, what do you think about that design? What do you think about it? I, I think it's dope. Yep. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have dude. my feel today. Dude, oh yeah. Here you go. Double cheeseburger, we went all out today. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. Bro. Chef's kiss. Oh my god, oh my god. You might have to bring me to the hospital. If I die, I die. And here comes diabetes. There you go. How are you guys on us? Yo. It's not as sweet as an American one, mm -hmm. but it's perfect. And it's thick. It's I can barely. Yeah, see, 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 see. Dude, that was so good. Alright, so let's head over to that Coco Futa now. Wow, Dai Coco is packed. We are here at Daikoku. It's super cool to bring both my cars here. I think it might be the first time. And we're also actually here to get some videos and pictures with um, my friend Massey. Hey Massey. Hey. So you might have seen him in the previous video where I showed, I briefly showed his Harley, which is set up with like multiple cameras. It had like three cameras, right? One, two, three? Three cameras? Three cameras. Actually, there is not one. Ah, and then the helmet cam. What a drive, what a drive, what a drive, what a drive. That was amazing. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful view. Oh, Yo! Oh, it's still shaking, so yeah. I have to find a perfect shot. Yep, yep. Well, that's, that's, that's not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. Take that's a good looking car. This is the A7S III, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the same camera that I got. This, These are the back shots. Let's check these out. Oh, nice, nice. That's a cool shot. And you got the Porsche right behind it. Yeah. Oh yeah. That that's a. Uh... I like it. I like it. Yeah, dude. Maybe I should do that. I should do that on mine. Uh, I should put a, a roof rack on mine, or a roof tent, roof tent. Roof you tent, know, yes. That's a thousand that? with the roof tent. There's the one guy, there's the one guy that's doing it, right? That one. Yep. Oh, this is good looking. Wing. Double wing. I like that. Wing, wing. Wing, wing. Wing, wing. I, I like that one too. Perfect. You gotta get it, man. It makes it look even better. All right, check this out. So this AP2 is owned by my friend uh, S2 Kosuke on Instagram. He has the Legales front bumper, but it's Regalo. Regalo. Regalo, Regalo. And he's running TE30. Oh, bye bye. Bye. Oh, bye. 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 Bye.
is he actually has the CR tunnel cover as well. So he took off the soft top, put the tunnel cover, and then put the hard top. Got a JDB diffuser. This thing is a beautiful, 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 beautiful build. Yeah, I'm so clean without a big ass wing. He has a Works Bell uh, quick release and double ASM RSGs. Only for Navi bombers. Dash. Bombers very, very cool, very cool. We're gonna do one more run. And this time, we're gonna do with the uh, undergo oh, time. Oh, he's leaving. There you go. Take it easy, bro. Ooh, that sounds so nice. All right, we're gonna get one more run. Look how many RX-7s there are, man. Wow, this one's sick. Super wide body Amemiya. That's sick. You ready? You ready to feel the power? Which one? The performance? <laughs> Uh, High series. spec of my car. There we go. Hopefully we get some good shots. We got the Fast and Furious special right now. The Tokyo Drift special. Stan's here too. This is Stan's uh, new bumper. It looks amazing. Actually, I'm gonna park behind him. Can you pull this? Yeah, sure. So I love Stan's new bumper. Look how wide it is. This is like super. Um, I don't know if this is gonna pass. There's no light there. <laughs> this is just a, an intake. Man, oh, I do like this new badge over here. It's just a sticker. Interesting. <laughs> I just bring it here, I pretend I'm fast, pick, people take pictures and then I go home. So tell us about the the crazy front fender, so, which is crazy. It's 70 millimeters wide. Seven each, zero. Each, each fender. Plus seven zero. So we have like front end that like is wider of like 14 centimeters compared to the rear. And it's a drag racing front end. It's called exhaust speed. And uh, well, it's light. Low as fuck. So how does it feel to drive? You gotta got tell us how, how it feels to drive this So piece. the Hycam engine has no torque whatsoever until 6,000 RPM. What's your render? 9,200? 9, Whoa! So, so... Higher than the S1000? No shit! It on the normal road, in traffic or anything, just wants, makes wow. me want to kill myself. But... As, as if the car is not like, trying to kill you. Yes. But like, but like, of like, like internal suffering. Okay, like self hate. <laughs> right, 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 right. Like, why did I do this? As soon as I reach 6,000 and like the power actually comes up, then it starts to be fun. And then you, be, you, then you tell yourself, like, this is why I did this. <laughs> exactly, like with those exact exactly. words, this is what we came for. I this is why we came to Japan. I'm not even exaggerating anymore. I was able to take a few corners, not like the like, sharpest meter, at 190k. 
like I was in the corner looking at the speedo and the arrow was like in the middle of nothing. It's good, it's good. Now it's good. I have nothing I have nothing to do anymore. Then. I did it! Stickers on you? This one is probably the sickest one here. Look at this old school Amamiya kit. It's like super wide. Wow. That's nice. Man, I, I can't believe people run like canards and like a huge ass splitter like this and don't just trash it everywhere they go. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, like, how do you ride it on a street? Wow, so many variations. Pretty live tonight, but we actually have to take off. We gotta go home. So, last thing I wanna show you guys are these three, well, mine is the one over there, but these two S2000s, stock AP2 with the yellow and the red combination. That's really cool. But this, with the ASM front and rear, and the Legalo fender, looks super good. Look at that. What ones? Really? 9,000 red lines. Oh, all of them. My bad. Look at that, so good, so good. AP1 is the best one, man. Master Race. She has AP1 V2, this is the rarest one. Oh, is it? Why is it red this is, it, this is like AP2, but the engine is the F20C. Ah, so it's right, a it's high, high, high rev. Right, 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 right. right. Yep. We're gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys back in the studio. So, thanks for, thanks for hanging out today, man. Yeah, buddy, any day, any day. Yep, any day. All right, see you guys in the studio. After all the filming is done, I gotta come back home, edit everything, and that always takes several hours at the least. Everyone thinks that being a YouTuber is all fun and games, but actually it's pretty much 90% editing videos. So this project, you can see so many cuts, you gotta add music, you gotta add, add clips and everything and add B-roll. The whole process can take upwards of 10 hours or maybe even 20 hours. I'm getting faster these days, but it is still a ton of work. Anyways, I finished the video, so I'll finish the video here as well. Kind of a meta way to end this video. So once again, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you a glimpse into both the fun parts, which are really fun, but also the end of the video, which actually consists of 90% of my efforts, which is editing, putting everything together. And it's a ton of work. It's basically another full-time job. So basically I've got two full-time jobs, but I wouldn't trade for anything in the world because it's super satisfying to put a project together and be able to put it out to the world and inspire tons of people around the world to follow their dreams as well. So that's it. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting my Patreon and my merch. I have these Hunter's Fleece pullovers on stock on the storefront, so check them out and I'm sure you're going to love them. With that being said, I'll end the video here. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next video.